Alright everybody, welcome to yet another Ionic tutorial and in this tutorial for our timer application I'm gonna create a functionality where user can enter his own number and the countdown would start from there onwards So, so far we have just hard coded this to number 10 but we can actually just make this application a bit more dynamic So to do that again, we need to hook up with our code and uh, First of all, let me just create a simple input type. Let's just say this is my input area for any further customization. And uh, label of class item, item input, and that's all inbuilt. Span class item label. And uh, right here, input type number and I'm gonna say right here seconds to elapse and uh, right here I'm gonna say ng bind or ng model actually of uh, what we have here my timer right yep so uh, it doesn't look like yeah I guess is it input label or item label yeah it is input label actually so it looks much better now okay so now we have got this thing right here you can see it nicely nicely works and if I reload this and uh, actually we can just get this input area some space to breathe margin bottom 10 pixel and margin top 20 pixels not really like that so let's just keep it to this one only and uh, right here we just start the timer it works well if I reload change it to like let's just say 20 start it okay now the problem start from here first problem is that we have set this max timer so obviously if we check out the documentation it says that this is actually required so um, because this is required let's just set it to an arbitrary large number and uh, let's try that out now let's say this is 20 start again now this thing doesn't really looks like it's working now the reason is that with angular if you try two-way data binding like with ng model there comes a sort of problem because of different childs creating their own scope and if you have watched my angular tutorials i guess i have dis discussed that thing this thing in very much detail and the solutions for this as well now the most basic solution would be to make use of an object instead of a variable so what we can do quickly in our code is just change this I can get rid of this one I can change this code to scope dot my timer is an object and then I can assign this a value so now I just need to change everywhere to a value this is a value a value and yeah that's pretty much it I guess hmm. and yeah here as well I need to change it to value and uh, here as well so that should pretty much do our job and uh, start doesn't yeah it looks like it has done but yeah we need here as well so that the circle actually displays so start the countdowns working but the thing doesn't look like it's it's working okay I guess we need this thing right there so we can just actually just set this to 
this one only and uh, wait a minute yeah okay so we can just make use of this or uh, no actually what we can do pretty much is uh, we can actually just initialize this thing from 10 but we can actually change it only only when your input is changed so let's just say ng change my timer fixed is my timer dot value so this would run only when your input is changed not when the counter is you know just decrementing so let's just change this to 15 16 17 and you can see that this effect right there which just changes the maximum value so let's start it from 30 you can see it pretty much works really well and it looks very cool so that's how you pretty much create a very basic application and yes i'm making use of alert you can just make use of a popover dialog box as well which would look nice on phone devices and uh, yeah there's a bit of problem with this you can just click on the start button again so you would like to disable this button once it is clicked and yes we could actually just implement that as well and i probably might do that in the next tutorial and uh, if you like this tutorial again then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching